An arraignment for Randall Kilby was held today. He faces charges for the murders of three people. Noah Chast met with a family of two of the victims. Randall Kilby. On Monday, Randall Kilby was arraigned in court on charges of murder in the deaths of Daphne Banks, Benjamin, and Jeffrey Taylor. Police say Kilby attacked Daphne Banks on Christmas Day and was arrested for assault, but was released without being charged. Banks later died in the hospital. Jeffrey and Benjamin Taylor, brothers who were living with Kilby at Romaine Village, were allegedly attacked and killed by Kilby with a hatchet on March 20th. Jeffrey's daughter Chantel says her dad initially took Randall in to help him clean up his life. My dad was trying to help him clean up his act and didn't go so well. Chantel says her father was best known for his catering business called Hot Stuff and was a guy who just cared about others. Help homeless guys and he would help friends and friends of friends and you know if you needed someone to help you move you'd go to my dad because that was him. Chantel says Kilby was confusing in the way he would act toward her. He was really aggressive um, and he had a difficult personality to read. After Kilby allegedly stole her father's rifle, she reported it to the police, but was told there was not enough evidence to take action. They said that if anything happened, to give them a call. And um, when something happened, they couldn't call because they were dead. Chantel says she immediately knew it was Kilby. And I recognized the street in the photo, and my heart sunk. I, I just knew that Randall had finally done something. I started trying to call my dad, just in hopes that he answered his phone. She says the next thing she did was call her brother, Michael. I said, Michael, I think our dad's dead. We gotta go. And he said, oh God, what did Randall do? Kilby's trial is set for May 28th, and he's being held without bail. He needs to pay. He, he doesn't get to walk free and take people's families and ruin people's lives anymore. In Bend, Noah Chast, News Channel 21.